Alright, working on the old truck again here today, and uh, let's see what we're going to do. Got just about all body work done on the cab. Got these corners down here, and uh, they've been done before. You know, I don't know what the story is here, but uh, I could tell there's a, a patch here, you know. And it looks like it might have been just put on the outside. And uh, if that's in good shape, we're just going to fare that in. We're not going to wind up cutting that out or nothing. Remember, uh, it's the back of the cab and it's covered by the, the bed. But uh, we're going to have to grind all this off see what we got here. And it does look like uh, we have a little bit of a, a hole here. So, like I said, I don't know if we'll patch that or just weld that up or what. We'll see. Like I say, it's, it's solid. And uh, that was a good repair for its day. You know, the guy, the guy might have fixed that for nothing, you know. You don't know. That's why you, you can't criticize uh, somebody's uh, body work, you know. Somebody probably bought it in for a, you know, to have a, a panel fixed or something. And the guy says, you want me to fix that while, you, while we got the bed off or something? Who knows? But anyway, we'll fix it. And like I say, it's not going to be seen, so uh, we might not have to get too, too crazy with it. And this side here, looks like it might have had something done. I see a little seam here. But this was done uh, pretty good, and it looks like there there is a little bodywork on the, on the corner here. Maybe right here looks like a might have to dig that out. But uh, whatever it takes, we'll do it, and uh, then we'll be done with the cab. So uh, I think I'm going to work on one side at a time, only because of the heat, and uh, put my umbrella up, and uh, we'll just work on this one today, and then maybe tomorrow work on the other side. There's no hurry. All right, I ground it down, and uh, let me show you what we got here. And it's uh, it's actually pretty good. I'm happy with it. I mean, uh, someone put a patch here, and it's a good solid patch. So uh, we're not going to take it off. They only tack weld it in a few spots, so I might I might tack it or, or weld it completely across there. And uh, we did. We had a tiny little hole here, so. Uh, We'll fix that. Actually, that tiny little hole looks like it might might go over to here. So we'll put a we'll put a patch there, and then over here we got a hole. So we're gonna cut that out and put a patch there. But other than that, you know, this thing is uh, solid as can be. And uh, I'm not gonna take this patch out. I'm uh, gonna leave that in there and. Uh, We'll fare that in. We'll put we'll put fiberglass over that whole thing and uh, just fare it in. All right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Remember where this is too. It's between the bed and the and the cab. Never gonna see it. But uh, here's something I want to show you down here. You probably can't notice it, but right here there's a a little channel, and it's uh, one over here too. And it's about one inch, and it should be a quarter inch wide. And it looks like it's it's pushed in a little bit here and this is your actually your drain hole you see you can stick a screwdriver in there and see that that give you a little more drainage that's what it should be and that's why uh, that's why cabs rot out because nobody ever cleans these out same with this one this one here is uh, you know they were open and the water was was able to drain but uh, the better the drainage the better It's better already. And you can actually get to the, the, the inside of these cabs here, you know. There's like a little uh, opening down there, so if you wanted to, you could uh, spray some uh, undercoating in there or something. But uh, all right, what we're going to do now is uh, I ground it down, ground it down pretty good. You guys are so close because I'm leaning up against the tire here. I'm sitting on my ass and uh, I'm leaning on the tire and uh, you're about six inches away so that's why uh, things are so close. But uh, I'm going to take the Dremel here and uh, get all this stuff that I could and then dig out some more of this uh, putty here so I can weld it up. And then uh, we can smear some uh, fiberglass on there. And I'll probably do all this body work with the machine so it shouldn't take much time at all. And uh, we'll be done with it. So. Uh, like I say, sometimes you luck out, you know? I mean, it, it, it looked a lot worse than it was. So, uh, let me uh, let me patch this up and uh, then we'll mix some putty up. All right, 
Yeah, I put a thin coat of uh, fiberglass over where I welded and put them two little patches in. And uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, two more steps. You know, I'm going to do this, this section right here with fiberglass. And then I'll come back and do the lip down here. Only because this stuff is lighting up so fast. Uh, you want to get one, one area done before the other one uh, sets up. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Alright. Yeah, I was able to do it with one mix. I was able to get down here and... Uh, everything I needed to so uh, yeah you wonder why I'm, I'm using fiberglass instead of body filler because uh, where this transitions from that piece of metal to there you know it's going to be an eighth inch thick so uh, fiberglass is a lot more stable doesn't shrink and uh, they actually make whole cars out of fiberglass so I'm going to get uh, a DA and shape this and get it to uh, knock most of that off and then uh, we can throw some uh, a thin coat of filler on there and uh, we should be done. Alright, yeah we got it looking pretty good. We got the shape, you see down here, a nice uh, smooth edge. And we got a few uh, low spots here. Right here, right here, right here. And uh, we'll give it, uh, we'll fill them little spots in there and then we should be done. There's really not that much uh, plastic on there, right? Here's a high spot here, high spot here, high spot. It's all bare metal, so uh, although it looks like a lot of plastic is uh, mostly paper thin. All right, I'm going to slap that on here and uh, maybe finish up tomorrow because uh, about 95 degrees out here. I'm not trying to avoid wasps. i got wasps all over the place here. I don't know if you can see them. He keeps going under the truck. Must have a nest under there. So. Uh, we put a couple of thin coats on these uh, low spots and then uh, let it harden up overnight and we'll see you in the morning. Alright, it's the next day and uh, I sanded everything and it's, uh, it's perfect. I was just going to half ass this because you're not going to see it but uh, I couldn't do it. I don't know why. So uh, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some uh, glazing putty and uh, put it on there and I'll get rid of uh, the sanding scratches and uh, some of the minor imperfections, you know, like it's gonna matter, right? All right, let me go mix them up. All right, here's what we're using, uh, made by USC, just it's Pro Glaze polyester finishing putty. And uh, I like it, you know, it uh, sands nice and it goes on nice, it's, uh, it's nice and thin. And this is what I used to use, but this is like uh, two or three times more expensive. And it's, it's all the same stuff, so, uh, yeah, they're not paying me to say anything about this, but uh, a lot of guys are going to ask me, you know, what uh, what kind of stuff I use. They always ask. Even the putty, you know, that's USC, and uh, that, uh, that stuff works great for me, so uh, that's where we're at with that. So let's mix them up and throw it on that truck. All right, we got the glazing putty on there. Uh, everybody does this differently. I use glazing putty. Some guys uh, use epoxy high build primer. They would have put about three or four coats on there and then sanded it down, but... Uh, so it's nice about bodywork. Everybody does it their own way. You know, as long as it comes out looking, looking the way you want, that's what matters. Got my wasp. That wasp is back here. Hmm. Uh, let's go around the other side, and uh, we're gonna let this uh, harden up, and I'll come sand that later on. It shouldn't take much, but uh, let's see what we're gonna do now. On this side here is that wasp again. Hmm. Look at him. I. Uh, Probably gonna have to do the same thing on this side here because it looks like they they put a piece of uh, metal on here and then grind that down. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grind it down and uh, do everything and probably not show you because you already seen it on the other side. And uh, maybe every once in a while I'll just show you what, what kind of progress we're making. So all right, I'm gonna have to move the umbrella over here. We're in the sun. All right, here we got this side all ground out and uh, a little more work than I thought. We sort of open a can of worms, but uh, that's okay. I'd rather do that than uh, paint something and find out later, uh, you know, it had uh, issues. But uh, this is all solid, and uh, I'll just uh, weld this 100%. And same with this, I'll weld all that, and then that'll be fine. But uh, when they put they when they patched this, they uh, didn't put any drain holes down here, so. We're going to have to, uh, after we do all the bodywork and everything, put some drain holes in the bottom. But uh, I didn't anticipate this over here. 
all these holes that was me digging away and uh, normally I would just replace this whole corner here but uh, since this this middle piece is pretty solid I'm just going to uh, cut the bottom put a piece down here and then uh, weld up here and then just put a little piece right here and that should be solid and then once you put the fiberglass over that and everything that should be fine but uh, it goes all the way around to here so like I said I'm glad I I found it you know I just kept going and see what was going on but uh, that's what we're gonna do I didn't I didn't plan on doing any welding but we will it's getting late in the day and uh, I would like to try to get that at least uh, one coat of uh, fiberglass on there so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film any of this you guys seen me put patches in before so uh, because when you do when you uh, film something and, and do it on for the YouTube TV and everything it, it takes it takes three to four times as long you know you got to set the camera up and different angles and go inside and show you cutting the templates and all that stuff so because of the lack of time uh, and you already seen the other side done we're just going to uh, do this side maybe we'll give you a film clip of uh, each little step we'll see We'll see what the time allows us. So, let me stop yapping and uh, get to work so uh, we can try to get this done. You know, it's a beautiful day and uh, tomorrow's supposed to be hot as hell, so we'll get what we can uh, today. All right. Yeah, it's been a couple days and uh, I welded in the patches and uh, fiberglass it and did the body work and everything and uh, I had to go all the way around the back here. All the way here, did a lot of work, a lot of work. That would have been a whole video in itself if I had uh, filmed it, but uh, I got all uh, this side's all done, and uh, it's the glazing putty, and I didn't glaze this because uh, in this kind of heat, you know, even a, a little spot like this is uh, you got you got to make two mixes, you know, because uh, two little ones because uh, they harden up so fast. So, so I figured I'd show you this before I uh, I put some more glazing putty on this side here. You see the putty? The putty really isn't that thick. You know, here's the here's the fiberglass I had covering the weld, and uh, you know, this here's uh, just about paper thin. So, all right, let me finish uh, putting glazing putty on this, and then uh, I might let this set overnight, and then because it, it actually sands a lot better if it sits for a day. But you know, you always don't have that uh, chance to do that. So, so I'm going to finish that one side up, and. Uh, and then uh, let it sit overnight. So uh, maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we got all the body work done. And uh, I got it all sanded, the whole truck sanded up to here. And the middle's already done, so uh, we're ready for primer. I'm happy with it. So uh, let's prime it up and see what it looks like. All right, yeah, we're happy with that. Got that all primed up and it uh, looks pretty good. Matter of fact, it looks too good. You know, I shouldn't have spent that much time on it and made that look that good. Consider it's all going to get uh, covered, but uh, it's just how we work. So I guess all I have to do is sand that little section over there, and this cab would be done. I guess the next thing we'll do is uh, put this weather stripping in and paint the door jams and uh, sills and stuff. So uh, yeah, make good progress. So uh, remember this. Uh, this isn't a, a how-to, you know, I'm not doing this to, to show you guys how to do body work, you know, like I always say, to, there's better channels out there than me, you know, and uh, when I say that, uh, everybody was asked who, you know, where, who, who, uh, who's better, who do, you, who do you look for, you know, there's one guy I watch, uh, Bad Chad, and he, he uh, he's over in Nova Scotia there, and uh, he builds cars. He'll take two or three cars, antique cars, and uh, make them into one. You know, make his own creations, build custom cars, and he'll show you how to do body work, how to fabricate, how to weld. Show you how to do it, when to do it, how to do it, you name it. But uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not doing that on this channel. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll leave a link in his channel. It, it's pretty good. He puts out a, a, every day. He puts a video up about an hour, and. Uh, don't let that scare you. You don't have to watch it. You watch the whole hour, but you can skip through a lot of stuff, you know, like where he's welding or cutting or grinding or something. And uh, it's a good channel. Bad Chad. And if you go over there, uh, 
tell them uh, 805 Road King sent you. Leave a comment and tell them I sent you, and uh, it'll make you eligible. It gives away a hat every day, a hat or a shirt every day. Almost every day, anyway. But uh, it's a good channel, so uh, if you want to know how to do body work and fabricate and weld and stuff like that, go over there, you know. I'm not, I'm not here to to show how to do it, you know. If you learn something from watching me, that's that's good, but, you know, I'm not, not actually uh, trying to instruct anything here. We're just showing you the progress on the old truck here, so... All right, I think, you know, that's uh, that's about all the body work. All the body work is done on the cab. And uh, all I got to do now is a little bit of sand and then we'll start uh, painting. So uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, we'll see you in the next one.